What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Monica, and welcome back to my channel. And today I have an Africa Imports haul for you guys. Basically, Africa Imports sells items that are supposed to be, well, a lot of them are made in Africa, from Africa, that are um, kind of fair, you know, like fair trade. I did research the company before I purchased items from them, and I feel that they're like legit. If you know anything different, let me know down below in the comment section. But I have a nice size order. This is my second order from them. I'm the kind of girl I like to cut out the middleman, so. I like oils and perfumes and incense and I believe a, probably a good amount of them come from this company. They are wholesale. If you want to do wholesale, your first order you have to do at least $100 and you'll get wholesale because they have wholesale prices and then retail prices. The retail prices are a lot higher so the last time I ordered from here was maybe I would say like at least eight nine months ago maybe a year ago so I don't need to order often but they do have a lot of nice stuff so I have already started unpacking it but it was a nice size order a box like that um and they had really fast shipping I literally ordered this over the holiday weekend so I wasn't expecting it to come anytime soon they sent me an email saying that it shipped Tuesday it was here Wednesday by 5 p.m. So I wasn't expecting that, but I was happy. Um, so one of the main things I like to order from um, this website are perfumed oils. They have a lot, if you've ever bought, perf bought perfume oils, like <clears throat> from vendors, you know, I think some of them probably get it from here. A lot of them probably did. And of course they cut their oils like they could get them in big even bigger they sell like like a like a pound like bottle which definitely doesn't make sense because that's weight and it's in liquid but that's what they say on the website um i don't get that large um of a container because i don't need that much oil but let's go through it and a lot of these oils i basically ordered not even knowing how they smelled um because i have purchase some perfumes the the real versions and some of them are quite expensive so I wanted to try the oils because oils do tend to last longer and I like their smell and I also plan on mixing some of these oils and use them as a body oil so let's get started I just want to tell you they came really well packaged the oils were all, were all wrapped in like this like this paper and then this kind of like weaved um, brown paper on the outside. So they were basically like all wrapped and then placed on top which kind of made a cushion for the rest of the items. Okay, so the first one I have is Black Woman. This one is really, really, really nice. And you can see the number if you want to go on their website. This is the best smell ever. Like when I first wore this to work, everybody was like, what's that? What's that? You smell great. It really is. So I have two of these because one's going to my wife because she loves it. So she can have her own. Um, <clears throat> then the next one I have is Nest Birchwood Pine. It's all of them say type because the, well, this one says type because it's kind of like their version. Now I've never had this nest scent, but I have a, I had a bunch of little nest, um, like sample kits, the roll-ons, and I really liked them, so I just decided to go out on a whim. Because I kind of like um, darker scents, like a musk, things like that, sandalwood, all of those scents. So this works well with me. I think this one was $2.95. I think the one ounces are $2.95. Unless they're a really, really popular scent. They might be $3.95. 
um, like this black woman, I believe is $9.95. These are all wholesale prices. I can't remember the resale prices. I might post the links if I get enough views on this video. If nobody's really watching it, I'm not going to post it. So then the next one is Creed Aventus for her. This is one I think I never had. It smells really good. Um, then we have J. Malone, Amber, and Lavender. This is a unisex scent. I think I really like this one. And I think this one was, a, I think these two were a little more expensive. I think they were like $3.95. Maybe $4.95. I don't know. I'll leave the prices across the screen. Yes, this one smells really, really good. Okay, then I got Joe Malone Rose and White Musk. I think it has an M because it's saying that it's for men, but that doesn't matter. It's really, really nice. I really like that one. Um, they do send these in light bottles, which I kind of got a problem with, but I did get a solution for that. I have a order from Amazon right behind here that has the amber colored glass bottles. Um, so I'll show you that at the end. And then Cartier La Panther. <clears throat> a lot of these I watch another YouTuber and she's like really into the type of scents that I like. And I was literally watching her video where she was going through her top 20 scents. And then I was just putting in the names and seeing if they had the oils. So that's how I got a lot of these. Oh, this one smells really good. I love it. I can't wait to wear this one. Like I said, these I think were more than the average because this, this, these are really like popular and expensive fragrance brands. So I'll put the price above and I'll try to link them below if I get like, I don't know. And this one is Mason Francis Baccarat Rouge. It smells pretty good. It, I have another, uh, Baccarat Rouge, one that comes from Alt. I think it's it's like the our version of this one, and it's really good. This one is really good too, and I'd just be interested to see how long it lasts since it's an oil. It should last longer. And this is Barito Bibliotech. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Mm -hmm. This one I really like too. And then the last oil we have is Mason Francis Gentle Fluidity Gold. Yes, this one smells really, really good. So I am happy with all those oils. And then the other thing that I got, they do sell art. And you do have to be careful. Some Everything that's on the website is not made in Africa, but they typically do tell you where it is made. Um, they have some art pieces too. So I got these banana leaf um, paintings, which this is supposed to be a real banana leaf. And I'm going to put these, so this is just kind of what it's on this black piece. So I'm not really worried about that being bent because that's, that really doesn't have anything to do with the artwork. So this is the elephant. And this is the lion. And I'm actually going to put these in frames quite quickly because I don't want the, the actual pictures to get bent. I think those were $2.95 or $4.95. I'll just put the prices on the screen. So the next thing that I got from Africa Imports, which is something they sell a lot of, are incense. I'm not really an incense person, but my wife is obsessed with incense, so I'll probably give her like half of each of these or more. So this one is Pink Sugar Exotic. And I think these were only like $2.95. And I say at the cheapest you get like a dollar. Just like the regular regular ones, you pay like a dollar for like 10 or 20. And I forgot how many are in here. Um, but as you can see, it's it's a decent amount. I want to say like 50. Maybe it's 50 in here. 
to me right now, I guess because they were all in the box, they all kind of smell the same, but they do smell good. So, I think it's about 50. I'll put on the screen how many is in this bundle. Then I got Lavender Exotic. And then I got Sandalwood. I don't know if you can see the numbers here if you want to look them up on the website. <clears throat> and then they have one called Barack Obama. They have an oil called Barack Obama. I haven't tried the oil. And then this one is Lick Me All Over. And I was like, well, I just randomly ordered these. I, I didn't know what any of them smelled like. I was like, maybe it smells candy-ish, like cotton candy. Let me see. Oh, it does. It smells kind of sweet. But they all kind of smell the same because they fall within the box. And the crazy thing, they delivered it last night. I didn't check the track until this morning, so it's been outside all night long. <laughs> Another thing they sell a lot of are like these butters. I bought the natural shea butter. I have coffee butter, something else. So this one is rose hip butter. I'm not going to open them because they're sealed and I don't want to open them until I'm ready to use them. And then grapeseed butter. Oh, and this is, um, I almost forgot about it. This is a, see, they package this stuff really well. This is an incense burner and a beaker for your incense in. I'm really not, I really don't buy these, but I'm like, okay, let me just try it. It's really nice. I like it. I don't know if you smell the bottom of it. See, you can see like the carvings. It has, I guess, like elephants on it with gold detailing. So, I don't know if you would. Are you supposed to burn this inside of here? Questions. But see, you see how it has those two little gold things? So, am, I, am I supposed to burn it on the inside? Huh. And it has the like the holes for. I guess the, I think you still can burn it on the inside. I'm gonna try. I'll let y'all know how that goes. And then the last thing I got are some big oils because, like I said, I want to do body oils with the fragrance oils just for my own personal, not for myself. Oh, and I did get this shower gel. This is Shea and Honey Butter. That's my cat. Playing with a damn top. So I do want to smell this because I'll be using it soon. Even though I just, did just get shower gel from Dragon Body Works. That video should be up by now. I've recorded a lot of videos. I need to do some work. It smells really, really good. So, the, the consistency of it is like, I want to say like a cast like a Castile soap from just looking at it. Um, it's cocoa ash, shea butter, honey, oil, and water. So it's probably not going to get a good lather. But I'll let y'all know. You're going to try it. It's basically natural. So it is a little oily in here because, you know, some things, they did sit outside. It was hot as hell. Some things might have sort of kind of leaked. Or maybe when they were just making it, you know, bottling it. This is chep oil, hair strip. I didn't, did I buy this? I guess I did. And I don't know if you all have seen that, uh, um, the videos about the chep, uh, I think it's something they use when the hair is supposed to make the hair grow. I just got the oil because the rest of that stuff, I put hair in my hair, that's enough. I'm not doing anything else. I really don't give a damn about lymph at this time. But I do like to try different hair oils. So it's sealed, but I'm wondering. Okay, can't press down. But I don't know if you can see it. But it's all the way filled to the top. So it's not like anything really came out. So I'm not worried about it. It doesn't really look like anything came out of any of these bottles. But maybe they're just, you know. And then this one is black. Jamaican black castor oil formula with jojoba oil. It's called hair food. I just decided to try it. 
and uh, now this one is made in the USA so but the ingredients I guess you can barely see the back of what it says so I'm not gonna try to strain my eyes and then I have big oils which these are basic like base carry your oils probably if you have anything that like has oils you will probably see one of these oils in them and it's probably one of the main ingredients because these are very lightweight oils so i have grapeseed oil and like i said they have it top they have it taped i don't know how you know much of it leaked or anything like that but this is 16 ounces I'll put the prices on the screen. This is sweet almond oil. Because I tried mixing these um the scented oils with another oil. What was it? Oh, it was really it was castor oil. Ooh, that was way too thick. And then it was kind of like the oil just sank. Did it sit on top? Did it sink to the bottom? I can't remember. Something like that happened and it it, it was real bad. <laughs> and then this one was sunflower oil. Um, I, I think this order was like 70 some bucks, but I got wholesale prices because like I said, I have ordered from them before. So I have an account and everything like that. All right. Let me show you all the, what I have from Amazon that I'm going to be putting the oils in one second. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. These scissors, these are my desk scissors. They're not really supposed to be over here but I need a box cutter so this is the Amazon this is the glass spray bottle set whatever it is that I this is why my the sanitation men don't like me because I always have hella recycling okay so it comes like this it's a glass spray bottle set they come in different colors. I think they come in clear. I think they come in blue. I have the amber ones because I'm going to be storing oils in it. You know, you must always protect your oils from sunlight. So I tend to put my oils on the bottom shelf in my room. But actually, I may just get a little tray because there's a little space underneath and just slide them underneath because I just really don't want them to get exposed to the sun. So they have a user manual. They did send you labels. They have white ones. They have some black ones. This will help you open, I think, the roller balls. They have a funnel in here. They have pipe pets. So, um, more little spray bottle tops for the oils. That's why I really wanted this. because, And then they have the roller balls and the caps in here. I'm not gonna open all this. <laughs> so you have these bottles. You know these. The, that's four ounces. That's a four ounce bottle, then. Okay. This seems like a lot. Four ounces. So you got one of those. I know you have two of these, which are I think sixteen ounces. The big one. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> I can't remember how many ounces that is. But I don't really plan on using this for the the oils for body oils. I plan on only putting some essential oils in this and using the big spray bottle, the big spray tops, and using this for um, like cleaning around the house. So it's two of these, which is good. Then you have the bottles. You can do your rollables. It's four of those. I think it's more of those. Or maybe it's only four of this size. This set was 20 bucks. Then you have this one, which should be, is this? So that's quite weird. This is a one ounce. So maybe this is two or three ounces. Um, and let's see how many did you get. It's two of those. Okay, so it's four of those actually, which is good. 
which is probably about the size I might use to make to make the actual like spray bottle oils. So is it more than two? Maybe it's six. I think it's six of those. Okay. Or it's eight. I'm gonna <laughs> I can put the other that on the screen. They have um this so you can clean it out. And are they more rollables? Yes, yeah, so it's more of these. I think it's eight. Which is really, really good. Um, Africa Imports did sell glass bottles. They sell the clear glass bottles. Were they glass or were they plastic? I can't remember. But I didn't want them any, either way. And they sold like probably, I don't know, 50, 100. They're really selling the ones if you are selling the oils. Then you would need those. I didn't need that many. It was more, and they were less, they were more expensive than this. It was more in quantity, but it was just like the little, uh, the little one ounce or whatever they are. I don't even think they were, I don't even think, they probably were this big. But they were either clear glass, maybe they were plastic. And it was like, I don't know, 50, 25, something like that. I didn't need it. It was more than this. I think it was $24.99. But if you're going to sell, then you could probably use that. So, guys, thank you for tuning in for this video. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you don't, if you didn't, don't worry. Um, subscribe for more content. Comment questions below. Remember, if you're a smaller YouTuber like me and you want to grow your channel, leave a comment down below and I will check you out. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good one.